Steve Hackett, welcome to Perth and to SU TV. Hey there. Firstly, I want to ask you why you decided to do an acoustic tour. Um, well, I've been touring with my own band now for quite some time. Um, since 1978, I've been doing at least, I think, one one tour a year of this country, and um, I suppose I got to the point whereby I felt that rock music wasn't absorbing all of my time or all of my interest. And uh, in parallel to all the electric albums that I've been making over the years, um, I've been putting together an acoustic one. In fact, since 1980 I started recording this stuff. And now it's all finally ready, so I've, I've released it and, and, and rather than letting it uh, go out cold, um, I'm actually going out and um, touring it. Hmm. Will you be doing more acoustic albums? That's difficult to say. Um, I will definitely not do an acoustic album as a follow-up to it because uh, I, I feel that um, I don't want to start slipping into formulas in that way and I don't really want to get categorised as um, somebody who does uh, one kind of music exclusively. Mm -hmm. You're still keen to work within the format of a band? Um, well, when I say band, it's, it's a very loose thing, you know, I mean, I think that, that includes uh, any, any individuals that uh, one might like to work with. Mm. I'm going to bore you now with a few questions about Genesis. Uh, I've read in, in the press that you're unhappy with the treatment of some of the material you wrote for the Landmines album on Broadway. Uh, would you like to comment on your feelings towards that album? Um, well, I think I, I was more unhappy with my own contribution to that album rather than um, the way the, the, the material was treated. Um, I think it was a very, a very difficult album for the band to do because on one hand um, we were kind of splitting into factions whereby Pete Gabriel on one hand was, yeah. um, was uh, determined to, um, to write all of the uh, lyrics um, and yet determined to leave um, at the end of the um, yeah. tour, which backed up the album. So it, 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 it did hardly create a, um, a completely harmonious working circumstance. Mm. I mean, we, we really were living in each other's pockets yeah. at the time, um, and still um, kind of getting it together in the country and all that kind of, um, trying to yeah, combine that, that kind of philosophy with um, was something which was hard to practice when you when you had families and uh, and children and, and um, all those kind of things which uh, which are added responsibilities. Do you miss the sort of large scale tours that you, you used to do with Genesis? Do you prefer doing these smaller scale tours? I mean, a bit more intimate with the well, audience, perhaps. I've, I've I've done large scale tours um, by myself, if you like, since I, since I've left. You yeah. know, we've. we've um, we play to um, all sizes of audience, really. Mm -hmm. And um, as regards that, I, I, I think the circus aspect of it still, still goes on. But um, the nice thing about doing a tour like this is that it doesn't really feel like a tour that much. You know, there are so few keep people to keep That's right, yeah. keep happy, as it yeah. were. You know, it, 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 it means that you really can get on with the actual music. Yeah, less hassle, perhaps. Yeah, a lot less hassle. Yeah, I mean, sound checks tend to last um, maybe uh, half an hour at most, whereas, you know, they, they can go on ad infinitum, you know, and you never really know something's going to work until the last minute when you've got so many factors, you know. It's, it's, it's quite incredible that rock and roll shows get put on at all because they're, they are so against the clock. Mm. Do you feel any regrets about leaving Genesis now that the solo members have all made reasonably successful solo albums? while they still got the, the successful mm -hmm. format of Genesis? Well, I think at the time that, that, um, that I started um, a solo career, in parallel to, um, to the band, it was, um, it, was very, it was extremely frowned upon. I don't know whether that was due to the success of, of the first album I did, or whatever, but um, there was considerable pressure at that time, because I, I think the band was probably a lot more, or a lot less mature as individuals. Um, but it was a very different working atmosphere at that time, and so uh, uh, I, I basically felt that you know to shelve the material endlessly, especially when there were so many writers in the band, um, was not really healthy for me as a songwriter. So I I, just, I, uh, I really had to see what I could do on my own. Yeah. Um, what do you regard as your best piece of work? 
Well, I think the most enjoyable one, or the most enjoyable albums to make, were both Voyage of the Afterlife uh, and Spectral Mornings, mm -hmm. because they were both firsts in their own in their own way. And um, I remember the the the, um, the circumstances surrounding putting those albums together um, to be particularly happy ones, and so uh, that tends to permeate the record. And I, whenever I play the, the record, I I remember that. Yeah, you do play your own records then? From time to time, yes. I mean, I, I, I play the older ones less. Mm. But uh, from time to time, I will, yeah. Do you think that the student audience that will watch you tonight is more appreciative, perhaps, than the general audience? Um, well, you never really know until you've actually done the gig, because, um, um, you know, there, there, there are no preconceptions about it. It's, it's an extremely um, vulnerable and, and a risky thing. Uh, playing one guitar in front of um, um, a tremendous number of people, and so uh, it's only by their by their grace and by their enthusiasm that you are uh, actually heard yeah. at all. I mean, it, it does leave itself more open to to the rowdier elements, and um, uh, sometimes that, that that can happen. But in the main, the um, the audiences have been really very very attentive. Okay. Well, Steve Hackett, thank you for joining us. Thank you.